What is up guys, it's Fix and Femi here, and today, Excelius is back and better than ever. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. So yeah guys, Excelius is back. They now have two new mystery boxes, the premium and the normal. If you don't know what Excelius, Excelius is, I'll have them up on the screen right now and down in the description below. Pretty much the gist of it, they are a mist mystery box recycling electronic uh, company. So they decided to come out with these boxes where they have recycled electronics. You could pay a monthly fee and it's mystery, completely mystery. I really like these boxes a lot and I think it's a great idea. So, they now have two plans, a regular plan and a premium plan. This plan is $60 a month, and the other plan I think is either $30 or $20 a month, I don't remember. So, let's go ahead and get into it. I have the first one here, this is the premium box. I'll go ahead and unbox the other box, the normal box. In, uh, I'll cut that back on when that comes, because this, is, this just came today, right now. So, let's go ahead and let's see what we get. This thing is really big and really heavy. They just came back and I'm super excited that they did because I really do enjoy every month seeing what I get and you guys do seem to enjoy these videos also. So. This will be a part of the playlist, so you will see the playlist um, up here and down in the description below. So we won't look at the sheet. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. Got some pretty good packing. First thing we have here. Brand new keyboard, always nice to have, especially if you're flipping computers like me. All right, I see some pretty good stuff. We got a Lenovo power brick. I'm always in need of these, these are pretty nice. We have, what is this? Oh, we have a heatsink. Okay, cool. Not sure what it's to, but nice to have, I guess. And then we got right here. Feels like a hard drive. Yes, it is. It is a 7200 RPM. Uh, let's see, four terabyte hard drive. Sick, okay, I needed one of these. All right, next thing we have here. Oh, looks like a CPU. Let me cut this open. Oh, we got two CPUs. Okay, this one is a Pentium, and this one is also another Pentium. Okay, I guess they're all right. Then, I already see it, we got some good stuff. We have an iPad 4th gen, awesome. Always like to get some iPads. Good to cut it open. Wow, this thing's actually really, really clean. Apart from that slight dent right there. But that's nothing too major. Oh, and it's turning on. Awesome, we'll go ahead and put this to the side. 
And the last thing we have... Oh, no, I'm wrong. We have the little tool. These are always cool. And now, the last thing we have is a laptop. We have a full-fledged Lenovo laptop. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Check it out. It is pretty dirty, but that's all right. Power it on, see if we get any life. Nope. All right. I do see on the bottom, it does say Windows Pro academic use. So this definitely did come from a school. Uh, so I'll go ahead and plug it in and we'll get back when I have everything plugged in and turned on. Alrighty, we are back and we now have the cheaper box in. So let's go ahead and let's unbox this one. off and ooh okay looks like we got some good looking stuff in here so let's go with the bag first we have another hard drive 500 gigabyte barracuda we have an apple ethernet twisted pair Transceiver. I've never ever seen this before. Looks pretty vintage though. We have this Z Kai Android tablet. This thing is pretty vintage looking. I'm not vintage, but just old looking. Oh. Okay, and we got a stick of RAM here. What do we got? Four gigabytes of DDR3. Nice. Always useful. And we have a Dell. Motherboard. Awesome. These are cool to have. Even though they are proprietary. Uh, this looks like LGA. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is. I have to check it out. But pretty cool. And. Last thing we got. Yep, that's it. Is this little brush tool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the paper. So seven inch tablet, Dell motherboard. Oh, two four gigabytes sticks of RAM. Oh, that's sick. I needed some of these. Poison needed RAM. 500 gigabyte hard drive, Apple ethernet, twisted pair refurb, and dust brush. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at this Apple Ethernet Twisted Pair Transceiver real quick. Wow, this thing is brand new. So it's just an old modem, pretty much. Wow, cool. And it even has the warranty card still. Awesome. Looks brand new apart from this writing. Well, this is something cool to have, I guess. Something vintage to go along with my Hackintosh. 
Awesome. Well, I think this is definitely a score for my money. Pretty good. Um, I'll go ahead and cut it back on once I get everything from the premium and the classic charged up, ready to go, and we'll go over what we got in total. All right, guys, we are back, and here is everything we got in the two Excelius boxes. So we have some mixed with the classic, some mixed with the premium. I've already kind of gone over everything. But let's go ahead and let's sum up what we have here. So first thing we have, two Celeron CPUs. Pretty cool to have. We have this four terabyte HGST hard drive. Pretty awesome, definitely usable. We have a 500 gigabyte Seagate hard drive. Pretty decent, definitely can be used. We have this Zinkai seven inch tablet. It's a very, very, very minimum spec tablet. Only has eight gigabytes of space and Android four, but it is still usable. Next thing, we these are the uh, little tools that we got. We got a little brush and we got the little tool that we normally get. Pretty cool. We have a heatsink. Pretty cool. Sadly, doesn't have a fan, but is still usable for like a low core processor. Next thing we got, we have eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. It is only twelve. Uh, it is twelve eight hundred U which is not the highest stuff, but it is still extremely usable as I use DDR3 all of the time. I'll throw that back in the bag. Next thing we got, we got this Dell motherboard. It's either LGA 1155 or LGA 1151. I am not sure as I haven't taken it out yet. Uh, this is definitely usable and shoot man, really? If uh, I could pretty much make a fully functional computer just with the parts that I got from this box. If you guys do want to see that, I, I would be up to doing that. Leave that in the description below and uh, maybe I will. Fully functional computer from an Excelsius mystery box. Next thing we got, which I think this is the best find, we have a Lenovo N22 laptop. Now, I did have to do some things to it. The It was running Chrome OS, obviously used in a school, but this was, this did originally ship with Windows, Windows 10, or Windows 10, Windows 8, either one. It just has a Windows sticker on the bottom. It is a low um, power usage, low spec computer, but it is still fully usable in 2021 and can be used again go ahead and put that off to the side this is definitely the best find and i do like lenovo how they had this camera swivel i think that was a pretty good idea especially for students because we always end up running into having to use our chromebooks our computers for as a camera second best find we have right here this is an ipad 4 it works perfectly fine this glass was replaced at some time as there is a film that you can see when you go on like a white screen or something you can't really tell but someone forgot to take off the plastic from behind now this thing is in pretty good condition and can also be reused. Yes, it is pretty old, but it still works perfectly and still can be usable to someone. Second to last thing we have here, we have this brand new keyboard, which is pretty cool. I'm always in need of keyboards, especially for cheap budget builds. Last thing we have here, which I think this is actually really awesome. This is a, an Apple Ethernet Twisted Pair Transceiver from 1995. It is brand new, in the box still, all the paperwork. And it's just an awesome piece of vintage Apple history. 
I've never heard about this until today when I got this lot. But it is still really cool to have and really amazing that it's in this good of condition. Yes, it sadly isn't very usable to this day unless you're running some kind of vintage computer setup. I think some people who are really into vintage computers could use something like this. But still, pretty awesome to see and the box is in great condition. See, here's some vintage Mac stuff over here, some vintage Macs. But yeah, so that is it guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm super happy they're back. Um, I'm gonna be making one of these every month as I'm gonna be having the premium and the classic coming every month. If you're interested in buying or becoming a membership of the Excelius mystery box monthly uh, little thing, I will have a link to where you can buy them down in the description below. It is Amazon. I am not sponsored by them. Um, I highly recommend it. I think it's pretty cool and I think more people should definitely get into it. So yeah guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Also subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. If you guys want to see the other videos on the Excelia se series, I will have them down in the uh, description below and it will be on my end screen. So yeah guys, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.